Hi developers, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil and this is the 11th part for React, Redux and Saga tutorial series. Here I'll tell you that how we can configure Saga middleware with the Redux. So we have to create two files. First one for uh, writing the Saga code. For a moment we will create uh, some basic code so that we can just inject it with the Saga and uh, uh, we can start our configuration and uh, second file we have there we have to make a change inside the store.js file so here we have to register our saga middleware and uh, after that we will check everything is working fine or not and at last we will cover some interview questions also so keep in mind guys in this uh, part i am not going to call any api with the saga or i am not going to perform any async operation so i am just going to configure the saga middleware here and in the upcoming part, we will call APIs and uh, perform async operations with Saga and all. So now let's start with the first point and let me create here Saga file. So where we can create Saga file, even you can create anywhere, but uh, better to be just create inside the Redux folder so that uh, our file should be manageable what, at a one place. So let me just create here product saga.js. And after that, let me, we don't need to import it from uh, anything from here. So uh, for a moment, let's, let's create a function and it should be a generator function. And uh, let's provide your function name, let's say product saga. And let's export it, export default and uh, your function name which is product saga so now you may be just seen that what is that star just after the function keyword see that indicate that this is our a uh, generator function and guys if you are not aware about generation function so please uh, read it once because that is a part of uh, uh, javascript not not part of uh, uh, redux right and saga so you can just read it out this is a very simple concept and here why we are using it here it can be asked in interview question as i told you the answer is to handle the async operation so it will just return the result once our operation is finished so that's all for a uh, moment we will create uh, that that much code inside our product dot saga file and now we can just move on the uh, store.js file and one more thing guys we have to install uh, redux saga to use it and if you did not install it how we can install simply put here npm i and then redux redux saga here and let's hit enter and it will just uh, store that package in your project within a moment so during that we can uh, just import our file so first of all we have to import this our saga file so let's simply put use here import something from mm, product saga right and uh, let's just put that product saga and after that we have to import one more thing which is uh, create uh, saga middleware so let me import that one also import create saga middleware and uh, that should be actually imported from um, yeah you can import it from core though also but if you will just simply write here redux saga that will sh uh, that should also work and now what we have to do here as we just registered our uh, reducer inside the create store we have to do the same thing but first of all we have to just create a constant from uh, create saga middleware so let me put here saga middleware and that that is basically an instance of create saga middleware and uh, now let's uh, simply register it with the uh, create store so let's take a middleware key and just uh, assign here a saga middleware 
and at the last what we want to run inside this saga middleware we have to mention that thing also so let's simply put here store dot uh, sorry not store saga middleware dot run and what we want to run there product saga file and now everything should work everything should work fine so let's see so okay when we are using a, okay let me check again yep actually there is a uh, one more catch so whenever we are registering the middleware then it should be like a callback function and uh, written type should be a array so the reason is maybe we have more than one middleware that's why uh, we have to just provide here array and now we can see that everything is working fine even we, we did not write any code till now because we'll, that will do in the next part so if you will check our previous code like uh, that we just write for add to cart remove cart and empty cart this is working fine here you can see that so if I just add some elements in uh, cart this is working fine I can just remove it one by one I can directly empty this that string and uh, uh, call product list this is still the same code I can just show you there we uh, call the API here but we will just uh, uh, remove this code from there and put it inside the product saga but that will do in the upcoming part so still if you just click on there you will find that there is an error because we registered and configure the saga but code is not provided there yet right that's why this is actually already still called in the action so that's all for this part if you still have any confusion about this part or our previous part you can ask me in the comment box thank you so much for watching this video and please keep supporting me by like share and uh, comment and uh, please do subscribe my channel also thank you so much